Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Prime News, and it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, been a couple days. So, Prime News is supposed to be landing at 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and uh, there's just been a, a bit of a rough start to this week, but no excuses, right? You're here for Prime News, you're not here to hear excuses. But what I will say, though, is stick around for our fifth story and final story, because I do have a statement coming up on basically rumors and the rumor culture out there surrounding Nintendo and our coverage of those rumors moving forward, including in shows like this. That being said, be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate giveaway through the Gleam.io link down in the description. And hey, let's just jump right into that news. Microsoft has announced a new Inside Xbox, which is basically their version of a Nintendo Direct for next Tuesday, April 16th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. This will feature, like the, the, the big game they're talking about here is Rage 2, so there will be some exclusive gameplay along with a few other games, some esports related things, and they are honestly said they're going to debut their road to E3. So essentially, this is their direct to begin the hype train for E3. Microsoft has promised to have a massive presence at E3 this year. And who are we to doubt them? After all, they're going to take advantage of the fact that Sony has chosen not to participate. So, hey, this is pretty neat. And who knows, maybe we'll end up streaming it just to see what Microsoft has going on on Tuesday. The first week sales from Japan are in. And, well, Nintendo Switch owns 9 of the top 10 software spots. In order, the very first game is Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission from Bantai Namco Games. That came out this week in Japan, and it sold 70,990 units. Yoshi's Crafted World was next at number 2, and this is its second week of sales in Japan at 28,468 units for a total of 78,475 lifetime to date. Now, the only non-Nintendo Switch title is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice at the number 3 spot from From Software, and that sold 18,101 units for a total of 212,961 units. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is chiming in at number 4 with 14,775 units, which officially makes it cross 3 million units in Japan. Insane. Uh, next up at number 5, we have the Nintendo Switch version of Minecraft that moved 12,278 units to move 719,845 in total. After that, we have New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe at number 6, moving 12,111 units, making it cross the 560,000 total unit mark. At number 7 is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Moving 9,551 units, having it move 2,246,416 units all together. At number 8 is Splatoon 2 at 8,161 units, and it too is over 3 million units. And beyond that, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild at number 9 moves 6,309 units, having it move 1.28 million units. And on top of that, at number 10, we have Super Mario Party, which moves 6,305 units to move it ever closer to within 8,000 units or so of 1 million. Now, it is notable that these are the first sales numbers we have ever reported from Famitsu, and that is why you are seeing Splatoon 2 slightly in the lead over Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, whereas the prior sales numbers we reported on show that Smash had already passed Splatoon 2. It is notable that Media Create has decided to take their numbers private and, and charge a pretty hefty fee in order to access those, so we will no longer be reporting on Media Create numbers, which were widely considered to be more accurate than Famitsu, but hey, at least we get numbers at all. The MPD here out in the United States just gives us estimates. We don't really get actual figures anymore so now we basically have the uk charts and famitsu left to rely upon for any sort of reliable sales data but hey look the switch is dominating nine of the top ten and the numbers were always pretty close with media create so hey it's cool whatever this is what we're using moving forward i figured since switch was dominating you know nine of the top ten it was worth talking about and plus no more media create the pokemon company is holding a contest where you will be able to win a copy of both pokemon sword and and Pokemon Shield for helping name a brand new move in the game. Now you can submit names for this in multiple languages, but they do accept English submissions, which means yes, I can enter, you can enter, any of us could enter, but here's the details on the move that you will be naming. 
The type is Steel. It's in the category Special. It does 140 damage, and the effect says it does major damage, but reduces users' hit points by 50%. Again, this is very important information when coming to name the move. I wish all of you that wish to do this luck, there'll be a link down in the description for you to directly go and enter into this. Good luck, and I hope one of our fans ends up getting their name chosen, featured in the game for whatever move, or whatever character, that the, you know, whatever Pokemon that this move is supposed to be for, or maybe it's a general move that can be used by many different types of Pokemon. I have no idea. We don't really know, but you have a chance to name a move in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then conversely, win free copies of the game. So... Why not give it a try? Our last story today is actually about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm sure if you haven't been living under a rock, we even did an individual video on this yesterday. Stage Builder has been leaked by Nintendo. This isn't like, oh my gosh, someone out there data mined and did this and that. It literally appeared in a commercial Nintendo put up. So, yeah. Uh, while well, they didn't show Stage Builder off in the commercial, there was a, a clearly a screen in it that showed Stage Builder as part of the menu. So yeah, Stage Builder is coming to Smash. We assume that's coming in the 3.0.0 update, which should also include Joker if you happen to buy the DLC. So yeah, uh, that's a thing that's coming. So let's actually talk about something that's kind of related to this and is the angle I took on this news yesterday, and that is a Nintendo Direct. Now... For those who don't know, we did a report on Gaming Intel's rumor. Uh, Gaming Intel put out a rumor over this past week that, well, the Nintendo Direct would happen now, basically. It would be happening tomorrow. And here we are, the day before a supposed Nintendo Direct, and nothing has been announced. This means that Gaming Intel was wrong. And that happens, but Gaming Intel, if you dig further into their past, they've been wrong a lot. And the reason it's so hard to track how wrong Gaming Intel is, is because they update their stories after the fact. So they go back and they re-edit all of the stories they have, so all of the information looks correct. And because they do this, it's very deceptive. And it did get past me when I reported on this. I had not really covered much from Gaming Intel in the past because I was always skeptical of them. And now after they got this wrong, I won't be covering anything from them in the future. This is important to talk about in general because rumors are something that run rampant in the video game industry, especially here on YouTube. And I'm very much part of that rumor cycle. And I always wanna make sure that if I bring a rumor to you, not that I'm vouching that the rumor is real, but that I'm at least bringing you something that is semi-reliable from somewhere and I do think the mistakes like this are going to happen in the future where I'm unable to successfully verify things quickly enough to get the story out and I end up reporting on a rumor that just creates false hype I guess is the best way to put it and I want to first apologize for any false hype I might have created again these are not my sources and I literally can't verify anyone whether it's Laura K. Dale, Liam Robertson, Emily Rogers, Gaming Intel, IGN, like it doesn't matter who it is, I don't have access to their contacts, I can't verify anything, and if you contact them to try to get verification, they basically just tell you nothing because, hello, they're not going to spread around who their contacts are because that risks exposing them if they are legit. So there's not really a lot I can do to verify what people are saying, whether it's the Wall Street Journal even, or Eurogamer, I can't verify any of it. So I'm left with trying to make judgment calls on what I decide to report on and how I decide to report on it. And I think we all as a community, myself included, need to remember that rumors are labeled as such on my channel for a reason. You clearly see the label rumor in brackets at the beginning, especially on things that I have absolutely zero confidence in. And the gaming Intel one was one that I had zero confidence in. And I have to just let you guys know right now that no, we're not getting a Nintendo Direct this week. That's obvious at this point. I do believe we're going to get a Nintendo Direct in April, not because of any rumors, but because of the stage leak from Nintendo. Them leaking the stage builder for Smash, Joker not having a release date yet. Clearly, there's at least going to be a Super Smash Bros. Direct, let alone a general Direct. We, you know, Cadence of Hyrule is supposed to come out this spring, and uh, if we keep waiting, it's going to be summer. So, obviously, we have to have some sort of announcement for that. So, honestly, I do think an April direct is likely but i think that's just based on nintendo's track record and based on what's currently going on in their news cycle to be fair we all need to put our expectations in 
check when we hear these rumors. What I think happens is we get overhyped, we start expecting too much, and then we end up getting disappointed with whatever Nintendo does deliver when they decide to deliver it. And I am, again, not at you know liberty to say that I'm not part of that problem. Last year, um, I... <laughs> Some of you might remember this. I actually got very disappointed that a Smash Direct was announced before a general Nintendo Direct. And I had no reasonable expectation or no rumors out there to guide me towards that. But in hindsight, it's kind of a misguided notion because all these Directs are are advertisements. All these are are just commercials. They're just massively advertised commercials that we get hyped for. And honestly, the fact they wanted to reveal more about Smash before a General Direct probably shouldn't have upset me as much as it did. And I think moving forward, I just need to be more careful and more choosy at what rumors I choose to report. Now remember, when I do label something a rumor, it is unsubstantiated, unverified information. That's literally what a rumor means. It means it might be true, but I, there's nothing I can do personally to verify that information. So... I will continue to label things properly moving forward, especially from sources that I absolutely am not confident in at all. But I also think I need to do a better job at avoiding sources and researching sources that have a bad track record. Unfortunately, Gaming Intel has a, re a track record of revising stories, so it was a lot harder for me. But now that they got this so dead wrong, they're off my bookmark list and we will not be reporting on the rumors moving forward. I just want to issue kind of an apology here and we'll go into a grander discussion on this later in an individual video about rumors, about hype, about, you know, all, all this stuff that we, the difference between like speculation and conversations and uh, talking about things that I might expect in a potential direct or whatever versus actual rumors that seem to upset people when they're wrong. Some people don't care. They like all the rumors in the world. And I feel like we need an, an open and honest conversation about that. So look forward to a video on that probably sometime tonight, if not a live stream about that very topic. But I do want to say sorry uh, for reporting from what is obviously an unreliable source. And all I can promise to do is do better moving forward. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejans from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate giveaway I mentioned at the very beginning through the Gleam.io link down in the description. If you like this video, drop that like, subscribe for more content, and you know what time it is, folks. It's the end of Prime News, and that means it's dance time.